Now, so we're going to do an unboxing of the DNT Optics Thermonite uh, Digital Night Scope. It's a thermal night vision compact with a lens and rangefinder. You got the main box here, which has a scope in it. And the second box has your battery and battery charger. Um, unbox it and see what. That's a fancy box. With that's your manual. That's a scope lens white. You got your actual optic right here. Eye cup. So there's your actual optic. Seems pretty sturdy. And we got scope mounts in here in the box. Well, anyways, get your scope mount. That's going to screw to the base of your optic, and then you can mount it to your rifle. So we got some batteries here. So you get two 1865 batteries. I believe it just takes one. Positive to negative. Push it in. And you got your power button. Hold it and it turns on. That's what it looks like you got a thermal main screen with a night vision or digital micro screen. You got your focus knob on the front here to focus your image for whatever distance you're viewing. It's your reticle color. This button here is for your rangefinder, turn on and off your rangefinder. You got your button for your white hot and black hot. You got red, hot, white hot. Now, let's see here. You hold that down, it allows you to adjust your settings. So you can go all thermal or you can go your dual screen. You got multiple different reticle options. It's something you gotta play around with yourself to figure out which wh where you want your settings, but we'll get it all set up and on a rifle. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll look through it. Alright, so before we look at the images through the scope, I'm just quickly gonna go over some of the, the finer details on it. Um, as far as when you're in digital mode, um, it has a nineteen twenty by ten eighty pixel V, you know, viewing screen, uh, 60 FPS frame rate. Um, the video recording is 1080 or 768p is your video recording resolution. Base magnification for digital is 5x, and you can zoom one to four. <clears throat> you go over to thermal. Your thermal, your resolution for thermal is. It's a 256 by 192 pixel core um, with a 50 FPS frame rate, so it's going to refresh pretty quick and keep things, keep your image crisp. You're not going to have lag or blurriness when you're moving around. Um, your objective diameter of it is uh, 25 millimeters. Your base magnification for thermal is going to be 3x with a 1, 2, 3, and 4x magnification. Um, it has picture-in-picture -picture quality, so you can have your main viewing screen, and then either on the top or bottom, there'll be a smaller screen that'll be further zoomed in for a more precise view. 
Um, has a laser rangefinder built in with a ballistic calculator, so you can put in all the info for your your cartridge, and depending on the range, it'll tell you where to hold. Uh, has a removable removable IR illuminator if you want to run digital mode, and it records everything on the screen. It records your reticle, your range. Um, you have three three different image modes. You have day night mode. Thermal mode and picture in picture with thermal and day night. So that's pretty neat. Um, your one shot zero, uh, like with a lot of thermal night visions now, um, if you know where your first round impacts the target, you can look through your scope and move the reticle to where it needs to be. You can get five hours out of one battery, but you can also run external power through a power port which they do supply a cord for if you want to run external power or hook the scope up to your computer to pull out video or anything else on it. So I guess now we'll take a view through the scope and see what it looks like. Shoot something down. Yeah. And put it on her head. Just wait. All right. So now I've been able to run this optic for a couple weeks now. And it is the DNT Optics Thermonite. And I'll say I am extremely impressed with it. The digital side is right on par with every other digital scope on the market, if you ask me. And I've looked through most of them. The built in rangefinder is spot on and makes it very easy to know your distance, even in the dark. Now when it gets to the thermal side of the scope, I wasn't expecting a whole lot being it's a, only a 200 or 256 core, but I am very impressed. I have no issues IDing coyotes out to 300 yards and no problem making shots out to 200. Um, it does get a little blurry when you try to zoom in because it is a digital zoom, but for what it is, it's a great scope for the money if you're looking to get into night hunting or looking to play with thermal and digital night vision this is a great option for you mainly because it gives you both options so if you're not sure which way you want to go just buy this and you can have it both so overall extremely impressed I mean I would I, I hunt it all night on one battery which is pretty hard to do with the how long we're out I mean we're we're out from hour after dark till there's nights I'm not getting home till three o'clock in the morning and we're just we're just making stands all night long 
the mount that's included for your weapon, extremely sturdy. It, I haven't, I didn't have any problems with zero shifting or the scope losing zero. Sighting it in was a breeze. You took your first shot, marked where it was on the target, and moved your crosshairs to where your first round impacted, and just made a secondary shot just to double check. So, overall, great optic for the money. And I would recommend it. Especially for the price range. You're you're gonna be you're I don't think you're gonna find another thermal at this price that's gonna beat it. I really don't. So, if you're looking to get into the night game, this is your optic right here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but I want to thank Zane for uh, taking the time to do this review of this night vision optic. Uh, it's a pretty sweet optic. I'm super excited about getting it set up on my 6.5, and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, predator hunting right here from the house this, this winter, and uh, I'll be bringing you any footage that I capture through that device uh on the channel as well so if you guys are interested in one of those i'm going to put the link in the description feel free to check them out and if you have any questions just leave a comment and uh we'll get them answered for you thanks everybody